This is a two component um, application that we're showing here. So standard SIB series machine, 150 ton clamp force, and we have a vertical second injection unit. Do I have to buy the machine like this? No, we, we, we can retrofit this unit to um, pass series of RoboShop machines, or we can provide it um, completely with a turnkey package from, uh, from, from the new machine range. Very simple terms, two different types of plastic, two different colors. Yeah, whatever. There's many applications in two component molding. It could be dissimilar materials, it could be similar materials, one hard, one soft, depending on what you want to get out of the, the product and the, and the end application. What's actually going on with the process in this machine then? Yeah, so what we're doing here is we've, we've got a, um, an application which is an ice scraper as a nice giveaway. We're making a two component molded part to a hard base material. Uh, which uh, is then over molded with a thermoplastic elastomer to give a soft feel uh, and yeah, to dual functionality of the part. What we also have is the integration of an additional servo core, which is allowing us to drive the rotary indexing plate right. via our FANUC servo core technology. All electric motors? Yeah, exactly. So we, we can integrate a range of motors for any mold applications that need rotational, linear movements, you know, gearboxes can be introduced into the mold design, uh, and it allows us to give a complete all-electric solution. So we don't need hydraulics for hydraulic core cylinders, which is even more a requirement for clean room molding and molding in environments where, where airborne particles come from the uh, hydraulic oil. This environment, this economy at the moment, Power saving is really key, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we can be the most efficient um, with a complete all-electric machine package. And I notice there's a robot arm out the back. There is a robot arm on the back. You know, every exhibit we've got here, you know, we like to show that we're a robot manufacturer. Um, this is what we call a, a, a QSSR package. Right. So basically, it's a quick and simple startup robotization package. So we're taking one of our six-axis robots. We're interfacing it in a in a fairly simplistic cell. And this is allowing us to, to take the part out of the mold uh, and also to do some post printing on the part as well. For any sorts of application, not just printing? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Could be quality control checks from a visual perspective. It might even be from a weight check perspective. Now we said QSSR, what about HMI? HMIs are basically our human uh, machine interface. So from that perspective, the SIB series, we have a brand new control system. And this is allowing us to, to show more than one page on a, on a single visualization at any one time. And this is key really when we have the second injection unit because that means we can view the setting pages from both the horizontal injection unit and the vertical injection unit. Okay, and you've got a separate screen over there and that's for you, if, you, if you're retrofitting it, is that correct? Correct, yeah. So this can act as a standalone unit on, a, on an older machine range where this capability is not available. Um, but we do have a switching function for the old uh, control series that allows us to swap between the settings of the standard machine and the settings of the vertical uh, second injection unit. It's not just a vertical injection unit that we offer. Uh, we offer a horizontal unit which comes from the rear of the machine. Right. Um, this allows different configurations of tooling and application and also access for automa automation from the top of the machine.